Me, 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 but also you. <laughs> the Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Pip, 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 powder donut. <clears throat> Okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The Name Your Price tool, only from Progressive. The owl ran afoul of the comatose Coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law. Curated by Kohl's latest collection is now available in select stores and at Kohl's.com. For a limited time, shop unexpected new favorites like reusable drinkware from Corksicle and fun arts and crafts from UB. Vormi's heatable plush toys are perfect for little ones. Homesick handcrafted candles are a great gift to make anyone feel at home. And who doesn't love sweet treats from Candy Club? Shop curated by Kohl's for these digital need-to-know brands and more. Tap the banner now or visit Kohl's.com. Christopher Media, unregimented. He can write a song. He knows how to write a pop hook. Man can write a song. Man, you can't deny him that. He can work a DCG chord progression. You're right. I cannot deny that what he wrote were songs. (laughs) (laughs) Unregimented on iTunes and ChristopherMedia.net. Christopher Media, let's make some noise. Christopher Media, let's make some noise. From Asmacore Studios near Detroit, Michigan, it's Unregimented. Gangsters, what's up, guys? Hey, it is another episode of Unregimented. I am Chris. I'm Jim. I'm Aaron. And I'm Rich. Thank you for listening, liking, and sharing Unregimented on Facebook, following us on Twitter at Unregimented Pod. Thanks for all of the new followers on Twitter. Unregimented. Appreciate it. You can subscribe to Unregimented on iTunes for free by clicking through the iTunes banner on ChristopherMedia.net. Android users, you can find this show on Stitcher Radio. If you like what we do and you would like to show your support for us, you can donate to Christopher Media by using the PayPal button on ChristopherMedia.net. Please click through the Amazon banner and bookmark the page. It won't cost you anything extra, and when you buy something, it will help to show your support for Christopher Media. Every Monday through Friday, you can check out a new episode of a Christopher Media show. Monday and Thursday, you get Unregimented. Tuesdays, you're going to get the Weisman Podcast Nugget, which is the precursor for the big show on Fridays. Wednesdays, you have the Projection Booth. Check those guys out, projection-booth.com. A lot of buzz starting to circle those guys. Check them out. Even uh, we were interviewing a podcaster from Canada a few weeks back, and he shouted them out. So they got reach. People like them. Check them out every Wednesday, Projection Booth. ChristopherMedia.net. If you're looking to launch your own website, please click through the HostGator banner at ChristopherMedia.net. That's who we use to host all of the Christopher Media shows, and when you sign up for HostGator by clicking through our link, you're helping to support ChristopherMedia.net. DraftKings.com, daily fantasy sports leagues, no season-long commitments. You can enter free or paid contests and win your share of over $200 million in prizes. Football's done, but we got basketball. There's even fantasy MMA now. Still curious on how that works. And baseball season coming up. I know about a month here, baseball drafts are going to be starting, but if it's sports, they got it on DraftKings.com. There's there's fantasy something. When you click through the DraftKings banner, ChristopherMedia.net, you will get a free first-time deposit bonus when you sign up for DraftKings. Kings.com. Okay, let me give you an example of, so far we've talked about emergency medicine, but we did mention preventative medicine being a, a big part of our, our uh, healthcare that's failed us in this nation. And this ties in with also the financial side of things and the political side of things. And this is my own experience with asthma. In other nations, they understand, socialized or not, they understand that asthma is a growing problem. And if we give out these, allow these inhalers to be purchased over the counter for a small amount of money, this keeps people out of the emergency rooms and and, which end up uh, taxpayers paying for that visit, not the person who, not the person person who visited the emergency room. In this nation, we have a system where there's uh, the prescriptions that I need, an inhaler costs five to eight times more than what it would cost in any other country, on top of the fact that I have to get a prescription to get it. So I have to be insured and go see a doctor or just pay out of pocket to go see a doctor and get a prescription. If I pay out of pocket for these medications, I need it's thousands of dollars a year. I just bypass the system completely. I buy a mail order from India where I can well, get them for like less than $25 a pop. 
boom. Do you know? Do you know where the big cost but, of medical but, comes from? What's that? Do you know where the big cost of health care comes from? Uh, is this a rhetorical question? No, no, no. Is this it's, it's the emergency yeah. care. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Can I no, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let, let, me, make his let point. me finish this. The reason fucking medical is so expensive in the United States is because the goddamn lawyers and it's the fucking malpractice insurance that doctors have to carry. They have to mm-hmm. carry like two hundred thousand dollars a month in fees. They have to pay. A lot of them do for fucking malpractice insurance. Well, who's yes. going to pay for that? You and me. So mm-hmm. where's the government fucking regulating the malpractice? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. if you're it, like, I think that, you know, okay, doctors can fuck up, right? It happens. They're human beings. But where, where's the, uh, okay, so this doctor fucked up and killed you. Your family now sues the malpractice insurance for millions and millions of dollars. So who covers the cost of that millions and millions of dollars? Other people in healthcare. So the lawyers have fucked that all up. So now you go to a country like in India, right? They don't have that kind of cost associated to every single little tiny thing mm-hmm. that you know it has to do with healthcare. So really to fix the healthcare issue, we have to look at the laws that go into malpractice and figure out how to fix that. I'm not saying I have the answer, but that's where you have to look at it. You know, my mom worked for a doctor, OB, OB, you know, OBGYN, right? Mm-hmm. And that's where I came with my number. This is back in like the fucking late 80s. He spent three quarters of his income, and he made a lot of fucking money, but he spent three quarters of an inco- his income on malpractice insurance. So who's making the fucking money? insurance companies all the way around and who pays for that we do we got to pay for the insurance and then we got to pay for the malpractice and then when people sue the doctor because you know you know you can argue this and you know whatever you can jump on my ass because people are so fucking crazy in this country Mm -hmm. and like just because like you know a doctor fucked up you have the right to fucking sue them and i mean i'm not saying you shouldn't i'm not saying that at all okay the doctor shot bacteria in my face and it didn't work out right exactly well you said it's jay you're you're on the, the right path. I heard an interview with uh, Dr. Drew today, Rich, your favorite. But, you know, he is a, he is a board-certified physician. And, uh, uh, a, a, he, an addiction medicine celeb- specialist. Celebrity addiction specialist. Well, celebrity no, addiction, addiction medicine specialist. Whatever. It's an actual what, let's, let's not argue working. the semantics I'm, of it okay. right now. <laughs> like, really, my bad, let's my bad, my bad. Let's, let's not. Yes. Let's not However, the whole point was he was asked what he thinks is killing his industry, and he said exactly what Jay just said, the lawyers. He said that is that is what that is the fundamental thing he thinks that is wrong with the American medical system. See, I would the I lawyers are killing it. I would have thought what was killing this industry is the fact that you have a bunch of addicts going into the twelve step programs going, Fuck this God shit. This ain't gonna fucking save me. How else am I gonna get fucking sober? Let's look for another way. That's how I that's what I thought would be killing Dr. Drew's industry. However, he's thinking a little bit bigger picture than you, I think. You're talking the specifics of Dr. Drew. You heard Dr. Drew and you're like, fuck that motherfucker. He was talking about medicine in general. He thinks that is what is killing medicine. And what is Dr. the American medical? Okay, I, I I give up. I'm I, okay. Uh, real quick, I, w- I want to bring something up to you guys. See if you were open to it. Uh, my coworker Corey, I've talked about him with you guys before. I don't know so much with Jay. I was hoping it was going to be the chick. Oh um, no, no. <laughs> um. Well, anyways, I, I've I've told you stories about Corey. Um. He's the dude we called had ten minute voicemail with. Uh, oh yeah. Uh. Well, and, and, you know, we've he's his life's an open book. That's that's what he's told me. He's like, you're like, he's like, I don't care if you you name me. You know, naming other people is, might be a problem. He's like, I don't care if you name me in the podcast, blah blah. I'm like, okay, whatever. And he's gay, and he's a furry on top of it. And I'm like, I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're when like, he told me that, I was like, that's two different weekends. <laughs> Well, here's here's the thing. I, apparently, there's a furry no, you convention just coming find the up. Right party. Yeah. Apparently, there's a furry convention coming up, and he was like, you know, y- you seem interested in understanding where we're coming from as furries because the internet, you know, makes it sound like it's a bunch of crazy fucking, you know, just people in in mascot mm-hmm. costumes fucking all over the place. Yeah. And I'm like, well. Pff- I could throw on a mascot costume and start fucking people. And he's like, well, I mean, you know, it's not that. And I'm like, all right, well, what is it? (laughs) He's like, what is it? I'm, you know, I was like, well, what is it? And he's like, well, there's a a convention coming up for him. And he's like, you know, if you want to come, I got you. I bet you did. And I was like, <laughs> okay, there's no way Crazy. I'm going to say this without coming off like I, whatever. I, and I'm going to fucking deal. nail here's it every time. I don't care because no honestly, that's my boy. He's he's a cool motherfucker and I don't care. You guys are so crazy. if I come off that way, so fucking be it. And I was like, all right. So if I went and, you know, went on one day and checked everything out, I was like, but you know what I want to do is obviously if I do that, I'm going to want to go back and report to the guys. And he's like, I'm cool with it. And I was like, well, 
if I do that, you know, I'd, I'd also want you to come with me. Thunder and is said. that is that cool with you guys? I mean, because this is here's the thing. It's, I don't it's, know it's a, faggot it, talking into my mic. I under okay. Well, we all we all know we're past that. But I'm here's the you. thing. It's 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 a it's a it's a culture that none of us have any idea about. And it would be a if I was there, I would be able to give color commentary, mm-hmm. and then he would be able to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And so. I was just wondering if maybe like you guys would be open to yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. You yeah, want to have him on yeah, and do a yeah. furry conversation, yeah, please. Dude, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because I mean, it's sir. It, it is. It is. I mean, it's 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 weird how it's all tied into anime and um, like for lack of a better term, a lot of nerd culture and, and video gaming and I love cosplay like, girls. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cos cosplay at the same time and. And but there's we were like talking the sub- about like skin tight superheroes who's right not Cosby sweaters. No, right. okay. No. <laughs> I'm talking about like Daphne and fucking uh, yeah. uh, Velma but getting it on. That's at the same, at the same time, there's there's a level of you know there's there's like okay you have like homosexual furries, you have straight furries, yeah, you have bisexual furries, is, you have asexual going to furries, be gay furry section and straight furry section at this convention. Yeah, how do you tell the difference? <laughs> well, I mean I, that's the be honest question. Can I be I'm on right now. That's the first thing I would ask him. Is like, all right, is it gay furries go to right, straight furries go to left? And you watch the pause, time. By the way, it's. I, I believe it's pretty yeah. much more of a thing where <laughs> everything I've talked to him about it. It's they all. It's and here's here here's the one thing I said. I said I, I was like, okay, so it's like a fetish. And he goes, no, it's not a fetish. It's more like of a. He goes, a lifestyle. I said, it's more like an S and M lifestyle. He goes, yes, it's part of who we are. And I'm like, all right, cool. And so you almost have to like learn how they look at it to be able to report on it. And at the same time, it's to, in my mind, really, is it that different than someone who you know wants what we would consider weird sexually? You know, or here's another would, question but, I have. Like, not I being a smartass, like but you, it, there's no weird. So, well, no, it's it's going to. Shit. You say it's a lifestyle, right? Yeah, so yeah. is there mm-hmm. non is there non sexual costume wearing going on? Yes, yes. Like, are oh, you yeah. just Hey, no, 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 no. House, when, just when, we need to cook wait, up breakfast. Let's not yeah, blow no, okay, our load. Do, do the show. Yeah, do the show. When, 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 when Corey's not at work, okay, I don't know if this is like a, a way to, to like signify they're a furry or if this is just what they... No, I take that back. What I'm doing is, at this point, is I'm trying to like... Look, I accept Corey for who he is, and Corey's always told me who he is from the get go. And Corey's like, "Look, I the way I see myself in my mind's eye." Like he goes, "You see yourself a certain way in your mind's eye," and I was like, "Yes." He goes, "Okay." And the way I see myself in my certain mind's eye has always been as an anthropomorphic animal, and that's how I see myself. And I was like, "Okay, fair enough." And he goes, "And when I'm not at work, when I'm not, you know, having to obviously do things where it's going to be unacceptable, they actually attach a tail to their fucking." to their belt or they wear like a, 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 a collar and I'm like okay and he's like we we just identify as anthropomorphic animals and it, it, really is it any different than the way goths they're like I'm a goth so I'm gonna wear this or I'm a metalhead so I'm gonna wear this t-shirt and grow my hair along this way and this is how I fucking that's what I'm saying like I don't no, that's a valid point Rich I've, I, I've never, but but see, you don't see that on the internet. All you see is fur fags and a bunch of fucking weirdos and blah 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 blah. And don't get me wrong, there is perversion within the community, but there's con- there's perversion within any community if you dig deep enough. The thing is, I think what's interesting is that he's very open about his sexuality, and he happens to be gay. However, the the truth is, is that, and he'll tell you this. Um, He's what is a friend of his termed a uh, seasonal bisexual. And I'm like, what's a seasonal bisexual? He's like, well, every once in a while, I want a piece of ass. I'm like, okay, well, that's not. Ass? In the winter I'm time? like, that's not helping. He goes, every once in a while, I want a piece of pussy. I'm like, okay, there I got you, go. you now. I got yeah. you. You know, and so it's, it's, there's that whole, and I don't know. I just think if I just went to this. It's cold out, I went you know. To, it's like a nice tauntaun to jump into. If I went to this convention <laughs> and I, and I went into it with the idea of, Go into it like 
almost Hunter S. Thompson not being a part of it, but partying with him. And, <laughs> and, and, and so, I just pictured and, you doing you, like the, yeah, the walk you, where they're leaning way back, <laughs> just looking around with bug no, eyes. You know, go party, <laughs> go party with them, and 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 the, and and the guard gets down, and the real shit comes out. Because I've hung out with him at parties, you know, before, and it's it's funny because like a lot of his crew are very like they they see me and they're like so you know they start asking questions and I I don't give the right answers and then they they get defensive and then. Corey runs over and he's like, "No, no, no! You're 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 taking this all wrong." All right, so cool is I guess. With, so, sorry to cut you off, Rich, but yeah. I, Corey will be fine with. It, well, I'll just point the finger at me with saying that the questions will be coming from a place of curiosity and not narrow mindedness. That's and that's and that's that's. Well, that's what Corey's... Corey, Corey Especially with me, so, it's... I'm direct. Corey, like, I don't Corey, mince words. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, if, dude. No, you don't understand. I will ask Corey the question that is on my mind. And it's Corey, not because I'm trying to be an ignorant fuck. It's like, dude, I'm curious. This is how I'm going to word it. And that's just how I am with Corey. And Corey was like, dude, be honest with you, Rich, you look like a hate crime waiting to happen, but you're the one of the most <laughs> open-minded guys I know. Huh. He's like, seriously, you got a beard and you got, you know, this yeah, hair. And, sit him in a room with you and me. <laughs> you're a big early guy and it's like i expect you to be like fag oh. and he's like you're the exact opposite it's a very like you said chris curious like i look this is something i have no idea about and i'm very you know it's like it's like it's like growing up the first time one of my friends come out and i was like so okay so you're gay all right cool what does Can that I ask mean your question <laughs> and he's like yeah and i'm like so if you're gay Top and I, it was coming out like banky edwards from yeah. fucking chase and amy can you just look in the mirror and get off and he's like no and i'm like all, all right well i mean yeah i'm just and it's like is it what, what guys are you, what type of guys are you into are you into like you big can't? muscle men are you into big you know <laughs> you're talking about uh, furries but, yeah we were anyway, yeah but that, no but it's what i'm saying is that's how i was the first time one of my friends told me they were gay i was very curious oh. like let me explain to me what do you because I know what I look. I know what I look for in a woman. I pretty much narrowed it down. Chris and I might fight no over dick. the same woman. Aaron, 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 and, Aaron no and I both. never have to worry about fighting over the same Warm woman. Right. Carmen, Willie. Electra. Yeah. Carmen Electra shows up. Oh. Next thing you know, Aaron and I are into it. That's just oh. all there is to it. So. Carmen Electra. That, see, okay, so Rich, okay, Jay, Aaron, and I are into it. Rich, so. as your lawyer, I recommend you go to this convention. Dude, I would fucking DP Carmen Electra with you, brother, and it ain't gay. <laughs> I wouldn't care if my dick was touching yours, <laughs> as long as it was touching Carmen Electra. You call me a faggot all you want. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, exact. Okay, not that far, but yes, it, almost. Yeah, Sissy. pretty much. Yeah, it, I agree with. I agree man. with you, Jay. <laughs> but you know, uh, but Jennifer Conley, I'm not sharing with none of y'all. Okay, that's just all there is to it, because that's never going to happen. But I'm still not sharing her with you. <laughs> When she wakes up in my basement, it's just it's just me and her, and that's it. And it's like it was meant to be. But <laughs> yeah, but but Rich, I mean, if I like called you up tomorrow, is like, hey, Jennifer Connelly's over here. Uh, she wants to uh, fuck you, but only if I'm involved. I would kill you, throw you in the corner, prop you up, and fucking <laughs> rail the shit out of her. Your ass. She'd be like, just look at him. Look Sorry. at him. She'd be like, no deal. How's the boyfriend just, now, just bitch. Call me. You know, just call me. <laughs> just give me a call here, and I'll help you out. Eat weekend at Bernie's, yeah. <laughs> but no, no just, you better go out and find another short Femi guy. There, there'd be a fucking Eiffel Tower going on in this house, brother. Just give me a call. <laughs> no, he said he just wanted to sit in the corner lifeless and watch. So it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just got right, so, 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 to well, stick no, my hand down my pants and move it with the wire a little bit every now and again. You got, you got a pulley system? No, yeah, like, the, yeah, we can burn these. Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. If I'm if I'm going to go to this fucking convention uh -huh. and I'm actually going to fucking stay the day and then you know come home, you got a man. I up. want when I come home, we're going to be to the studio. And do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, it's not no yeah. bullshit. I'm yeah. not I'm not going to show up and be like, hey, it's crazy. We're going to talk about it for five minutes and then that's it. Like, no, I understand. I want because here's on, the thing. Bitch. He's this such a he's such a cool thing, guy, bro. and it's it fucks me up that people would be like, well, what what is he? He's Corey. He's a person. Yeah, well, what well, is let, it? He's a furry. From him. Oh, my fucking God. Fuck him. Well, you know what? Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how, because that's, it'd be the same way I felt about any three of you motherfuckers. Not so much Jay, because I don't know you that well, but it's getting to that point, Jay. <laughs> I'd be like, 
Fuck you. Oh, what's Jay? Hey, motherfucker. Uh, you who's can, Jay? Yeah, but, and, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, but, but what, you what don't describe me as this fucking... Fuck him. Yeah, I'll right. be like, well, yeah. kind of fuck him, but no, fuck <laughs> you, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you know what the best part about podcasts are, Rich? It's a choice to listen. Yeah, exactly. You don't like it fucking... You don't like this one. episode? Wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it... We'll talk about racism oh. and fucking... All you know, the same shit. shit. We're we're talking about uh, uh, future possible <laughs> episodes... I would like to do next week. I want to have Mike back on, but I think we should do. Can we uh, talk about Kurds and Way? No, I want to. I want to talk about music some more. Not that we don't enough, but we haven't so much lately, oh. especially in light of what's going on, what happened with the verdict on the uh, Blurred Line song. Oh yeah, okay. And just talk a little bit about what, from a musician's point of view, what's acceptable and what's not. What's borrowing and stealing and is either wrong? Well, I mean, if you don't want me to have an opinion, yeah, we could do that at next this week. moment. We could do that because I mean, I can tell you right now, but I no, I, I, no, no, I should save it. Save it. Save it. Yeah. Yes, Get your yes. ammo going. You know, you can get your ammo going all week. Sitting there and stew on it, oh, this motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it home with me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fucking whack into that shit tonight. And this motherfucker just be angry shit. <laughs> gonna By be the way, hey, whack. hey, hey, I was at the top. I, I play. I, Jay, I played a show at the Token on uh, last Saturday, and I'm it's the I'm, opposite I'm at, of the uh, ninja. Why ninja didn't I know yeah. about? I'm that. at the I'm at the bar, and 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 I'm looking down on the where they keep the beers and shit, and I'm like, Wayno Palooza, the amino acids, and I'm like, okay, the amino acids, I know is you. What the fuck is Wayno Palooza? I don't fucking know. That was after me. Okay. Because I was like, is that like, don't tell me you had it like, we're going to have a fundraiser for the city of Wayne. Let that motherfucker rot. Okay. I, I don't, I don't, that's just my opinion about the city we, of Wayne. We can ask Scott. He would fucking, he'll tell you like the color of the fucking person's eye that fucking started that. So <laughs> I mean, they're all with all due respect because, you know, the dude will know every. Yeah aspect gotcha of it, you know gotcha he'll, he'll tell you every fucking person that's involved in it down to like the color of the fucking socks like the shittiest band on the thing was wearing gotcha now, that was after me all right well cool cool yeah, so, well no it's like i just saw that and i was like hmm that's strange i, I didn't know you played the token i wish i would have known that i you know if i could have made it i would have made it uh you didn't miss much uh, yeah i did i missed you fucking playing dude no no seriously i filled in for three songs so uh, what, what it was is um my old band i told you they're they're a, they're a, they're now a three-piece but to be clear the token as in the token lounge yeah not as yeah. in rich was the only white guy in a black band <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have to take this hit for the rest of the time on this podcast, I can see. This is, this is, this is okay, all right. I just wanted Actually, to make no, his comment no, no. that you played the there token was clear. The band, the band, one of the bands that played with us is called Blackmail, yeah. and everyone in the band is black except for Doug Austin. <laughs> and and Doug Austin is, a, is the drummer, and he's a really cool guy, and he's really funky on drums, but he's the only white boy in the band. And so it was like... Is when Mayo they got spelled off, M-A-L-E? No, it's, 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 it's spelled as if... Yeah, you're being blackmailed. Yes, gotcha. yeah. right. but uh, no. I so you know, the guys get off, and I'm like, "Hey, Doug, how you doing?" He's like, ah, "Kind of feel like the odd man out." I'm like, oh, "A little bit, huh, bud?" Yeah, kind of. Ha- one of these things don't belong. One of these things just aren't like the other. But no, I mean they've been playing with and him. How ironic years. it's that he's the drummer. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. The, heart, I, I, the heart of the band. <laughs> he did double duty that night because he also played with New Day Machine. So I mean, if you're going to be the was, white guy in an all black so, band. You so at least be the guitar player. Rich, what, what the band? Stereotypes. What band are you slash were you in? Six months gone. Okay. Um, we played with the Creeping Chaos, which I was like, nice H.P. Lovecraft reference. I, they've only been together for a couple months. I don't, I've, I've never heard them before. Then, uh, no, excuse me, Broken Day Machine played. And we played, and then Blackmail played. What, and What's the name of your the band that you were in? Uh, six oh, Months God. Gone. Oh, that's the name of the band. Yeah, not how long he's been gone. Yeah, I, six. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. This is, that band is, that band is my buddy uh, Andrew May's band. Uh, that's his, that's his thing. Uh-huh. Um, and they're a three piece right now, but he's always played with another guitar player. And he was like, you know, if, if you're here and you live with me, you know, the songs and then 
uh, you know, would, would you like to sit in? And I was like, yeah. And then another guy who used to play with him was like, can I sit in? Yeah. So, so we, we you know, it's just kind of like, Oh, that's the, that's fun ass shows, dude. Yeah. Yeah. We had a fucking blast, dude. And that's... everyone that was there was either friends. I actually had something happen to me that I haven't had in about 10 years is I got off stage and I was, you know, having a, a cigarette outside and I was looking at this guy and I'm like, Hey man, what bands you play? And he goes, none. I'm looking at him. I'm like, you kind of look like you play in a band. He goes, no. Just a fan. I said, a uh, fan of who? Six months gone. Really? All right. Well, good to meet you, sir. And we started talking, and I'm like, uh, this guy's bullshitting me, right? And he's talking about gigs we played four years ago. And I'm going, that's strange. I'm not used to that anymore. You know? It, it's I'm used to friends, family, and other band members, <laughs> friends and family being there. Shows. Uh, yeah, exactly. Anymore. I can, exactly. I can relate exactly. to that, Rich, because I... Um last show well last two shows i played i've had total strangers come up and tell me i still got it and like there that, you go i didn't only, even know i had it well yeah yeah i'm like okay you know and you're didn't talking even though i played tonight yeah i yeah um no you still got it i'm like okay that's fucking awesome because i don't if you you've never seen me play because i i don't really play it's like i'm like the mc not even mc i'm like the fucking shit stir basically Mm-hmm. Have you seen pictures? You know, you've seen the pictures of me on Facebook. But, you know, there's two pictures on my Facebook page, and one is all you see of me is my boots <laughs> and being yeah. drug around on the floor, and the other one is me in the middle of a mosh pit. You know. All right, hold so, on a sec. Yeah, we're cutting. We're cutting all that out. Why? What? What? <laughs> Whoever's playing this shit, no, we're cutting all this out. <laughs> I can't no that first of all I wasn't in the band at that point. I I, I can't give you fucking permission to play that. You, you would have to talk to the the, the gentleman who who runs the band. Like, that's fair use. Yeah, it's, it's you know I can't YouTube, I can't. Man. So uh, oh fuck. Were you on this? Were you on this time? <laughs> I don't know. Most of the shit I was in was in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Oh, yeah. No, I I definitely wasn't in at that point. That was at the <laughs> but I mean, it, it, Rich, is that where we are as a society? Hey, I can't. You, I can't. You gotta ask my buddy to play his band and say their band name. I don't. Well, no, say their band right, name. Hey, wait, mean, wait, 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 wait. That's where props are you, to the are band. Are you finding this on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was is YouTube, it posted dude. by Six Months Gone? I don't know whose account it is. Yeah. Does it fucking say Six Months Gone or Andrew I, May or something? I killed like that. it already. Yeah, he killed it. But I mean, dude, I mean, it's on. I just want to look. I'm not trying to piss off the people I live. Uh, he's why my would boy. You, let's, why would it piss them off that we're saying their name yeah, and talking no about shit. their band? That's when I was in a band, it's please talk about my band. Say its name. Play the music. Go ahead. I don't look. I talk about the. Chris, I'm being asses I'm every being show, ex- and I'm Chris, not even. I'm in the being band. extra careful because I don't know what the fuck he wants. So ask him if tonight. he was awake right now. I would fucking go downstairs and go, "Hey, they want to play some shit they found on YouTube." And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, 95 percent sure he'd go play whatever the fuck's on YouTube. So well, play if he didn't it want it out there, and he understands how the internet works already, exactly. then wouldn't he have just, done something about the two YouTube right, hits that I right. found on the first page? <laughs> the two YouTube hits. <laughs> See, now I'm just sounding like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm now you got three. I'm totally with you on this one. I'm totally yeah. with you on it. You do, do not have to. Yeah. I, I just, I can't speak for him. It's his band. It's his baby. He's been in it since 2009. Yeah, it's speaking he's for the, him. You didn't ask me o- to look he's it up He's the either. only original member since 2009. I went through that for ne- for seven years with my band where I was the only original member. And, you know, there was certain versions of shit out there. I was like, it wasn't us at our best version. Uh, so, hey, man, talk Rich, to him. Before, I seen this guy. I think I can take next him. Time. Talk to I'm him not worried about it. Next time. And then, like, you know, find out what song he does want to have played on here. And we'll just play. play. You know what? Just fucking play it. I mean, oh, if we're going to use it as a. As a as I'm a not going to play. I'm no, done. done. No, that's it. No, no. You, we, we, we moved on. You Jesus up, Christ. You I killed it. I know. We got a verbal cease and desist order from somebody who used to be associated with the band. So. Uh, oh, Chris. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Chris. <laughs> no. Hey, hey. Yeah. I'm going to wipe. I'm going to wipe back to front until I see you next time. And then I just want you to suck on my balls. Okay. That's just what I want you to I do. I just think it's. Wait, man, it, Rich, it's not. It's just taking the spirit which it's attended. It's not a personal thing. It, I just think it's messed up as a society. Then now we're like, well, I don't know if my buddy wants his band out there like that. Like, it should be like, yes, play my band. I feel the same way. I feel the it's, same way. Here's the thing. Yeah, I didn't I, make his song our intro. 
No. <laughs> it's fucking. You know, it's like it's I found three out, hours like, and fifty-seven okay, well, minutes, hold on, so minutes here's the thing. Here's the last year that my band has been broken up for like seven years has stuff on Spotify. My first reaction was, "Where's, where's?" My first re- question wasn't, "Where's the check from Spotify?" I was like, "That's fucking cool." <laughs> where's my half penny? You want to yeah, know the truth? I mean, want to know the truth? The first thing fucking Aaron started playing was an acoustic jam from a Sunday morning. Yep. I know. I know this. I know this. And it was. It was a uh, hey, why, uh, it feed cry? the homeless. Feed the homeless fucking uh, benefit. And it was through Karen Hubbard, who used to work for Tap Detroit. Now she works for Raw Radio, or she she's she used to be on Tap Detroit Internet Radio. Now she's on Raw Radio X. Do you see where I'm going? There's a lot of fucking no. pieces in there. And okay, I I understand if you say no, but and and we just they just did it because it was hey we have this benefit. You want to come out. And, and play and bring people. And then, you know, w- w- they were also handing out food to the homeless in Detroit, blah, 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 at the same time, trying to raise awareness for it. To me, in my mind, of course he'd want that heard, no matter how how shitty I think it sounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it wouldn't matter. He'd want that heard. I, I That's how I feel. He would want mm-hmm. that heard. But I can't speak for him. So the 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 acoustic version of Crystal Clear, yes, I, I think that'd be a, cool version to play and and i think there's a cool story behind it and i think that it was it was because i know i know i know may known him for 20 years that man is my brother without blood that man is my family that i chose as much as we butt heads we'll lay down in traffic for each other i it's just, it that's just how it is so well there's there's <laughs> Sorry, there's, there's sorry, no more, Aaron, there's if no that more six make months gone that's going to be played on, on this podcast cool. anyway. So it's <laughs> unless you choose, unless you play. No, I'm, I mean it's not even going to come up. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. First of all, so, amino acids, you do that, sure, or some telecollision. I mean, either way, <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you play shit that I'm not even on. Well, no, do you remember? Play Lost Court and I'm a producer of that bitch. Remember, remember when I was asking about the amino acids and we were all in the studio together? Yeah. And you were like, hold on a sec, play them this one. Well, that's a band you had, you know, you could go, okay, play them, play this one that I know is going to go out and everything's going to be cool. Uh, you could uh, you could pick any video of the amino acids and it would be cool. These guys would. Oh, hold on a sec, hold let me do that. Go for it, man. Pick any. Uh, and, and, no, and. and, and I'm being a smart ass, but yeah. no, I've only seen the, the one where it was like, dude, it was like the whiteout. Yeah, that's Lost Coordinate. I uh, produced that. I produced that uh, song. I wasn't even giving credit in the video for it, God damn it. Here's Guys, I don't know. Here's, here's the honest guy's truth. And, and let me just run with this. It's embarrassing to me that I fucking am 38 and, I, I, you know, I, I still play in a fucking, I still fill in for my friends in a band and shit because it's like, I, that's why I didn't fucking say anything, like try to pump it up. It, it, have, have I ever fucking tried to big time anything I've, you know, had coming up? before it did you know that's what i'm saying like it's just it it, it would it to me it's, it's like ah oh, it's embarrassing dude this is this is this is unregimented this is to, to be honest about it it's it's chris and aaron's thing and i feel lucky enough to be invited into this it's not my job to fucking start pumping myself up about well i i'm doing this at the token lounge and hey everybody listening in fucking radio land come check it out i'm i don't want to be that asshole i just don't want to be that guy i, and I understand where chris yeah. is like yeah. i want my if band i was still in a up. band i'd be pimping it on these yeah. airways oh yeah no. it's, you, i mean that's I'm your not choice that guy. No, i'm not i would be shamelessly oh. whoring if the, i was in a band I'm not that guy guys. Fucking that's just me that wants that's the attention me. <laughs> i mean i'll pimp i'll pimp other bands that i fucking think that we need to fucking play on the air I'll, I'll do that all fucking day, but I, I just anything involved with me seems like right. sh- sh- shameless self promotion. We are me too, and I'm good at it. It's almost midnight. <laughs> We're almost at four hours on the clock here. I think you get a couple shows on this. Is there <laughs> is there any is there any topic uh, anyone wants to bring up to close with? Well, let's see. We play my band. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not playing anyone's band anymore, <laughs> no, right? Hold on, Sorry, hold on, I'm not even hold going on. on YouTube anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Well, okay. did what track? <laughs> what track did fucking A. A. Ron what? successfully hate on? That Every was his track. own bass playing. Yes. <laughs> Is it is one of no, the, the I, no? I understand stuff. what you mean. Like, there's there's shit out there with me playing on it and playing the wrong fucking notes. And I was like, why the fuck did you put that out on YouTube? 
Yeah, there's a there's actually a video there's on my, the amino there's acids takes page. on there where I play my part right. Yeah, that wasn't one of them. There, yeah, there's a there's a video on the amino acids page that's at Griff's Grill, and it was like our third gig, dude, and mm-hmm. it is fucking horrendous. And he still put it out, and I you could play that motherfucker right now. I don't care, whatever. Yeah, but you, you know, know what? I, it's you the, could argue, and I learned this after making a couple CDs. Don't say you're okay with it if you're not okay with it. Well, right. Yeah. And you know, like uh, the f- whole first album that got released, dude. I, I'm, that's the only time I've ever been on an album playing, and it's fucking terrible. But you want to play it? Go for it, man. Like, whatever, if, you know? It's, if the engineer goes, did you like that? And you say yes. Uh, I didn't have a choice. You've it given your okay to yeah. it. I recorded the entire fucking album. We recorded it. Not I. I. We recorded the entire album uh, twice, three times. The third time, or the second time we did, we took it in to have it mastered at a studio that I fucking hate. And I will not mention their name. That's how much I hate them. And we re-recorded it. And I wasn't told when mix down was happening or mastering was happening or anything. And I got this fucking piece of shit in my hand. Everybody loves it. I fucking hate my parts. They sound terrible. They're not what I wanted. They're not what I wanted to sound like. But Mm -hmm. you know what, man? I was on it. Whatever it's called. The Amino Acids Man in the Universe. Listen to it. It's, it's, It's fucking, you might think it's phenomenal or whatever. You might hate it. Tough shit. Buy that shit, though. (laughs) <laughs> so i understand hey uh, yeah. there's 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 a studio in the russell it's called Groovebox studio you get you get they have a a professional uh, uh video setup they have a professional recording setup you record live you get three songs there's no overdubs there's no nothing you play three songs they choose the one they put out mistakes and all right. and i've seen bands who i think are fucking phenomenal and I, I see their video and there's that one fuck up and I don't I, like I hear it as a musician I'm like okay whatever I you know shine you know shine it on whatever I fucking you fucked up whatever it happens and then I talk to the guys I'm like dude that fucking video was great and they're like that fucking sucked man that one part man I played that one note wrong right. and I'm just like oh my god and they, I can't believe they chose that one to play and blah, blah, blah. and I'm like dude the average person doesn't hear that you're fine mm-hmm. you're fine here you are doing better than most what do you what is what that's the problem i'm i'm overly critical and i'm overly protective of my buddy but honest to god in, in the, that was just me being overprotective of my, of my buddy's band but here's the thing if i told him tomorrow morning when when we see each other after i wake up and he wakes up and he's probably smoked a joint or two i'll be like yo on, on the podcast last night you played your shit bro and he'd be like, oh, that's the fucking shit. That's the one I'm going to listen to. I've yep. never listened to anything before. I thought you listened to all of them. Right. Well, well, I mean, what's he going to hear? You know, I, um, uh, which one is the one you're on? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. okay. He's going to hear a couple snippets of his YouTube videos, and you're going, stop. No. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll be, like, he'll be like, you're a fucking asshole, Rich. Right now. This is you. This is why you're not in a band anymore. <laughs> this is fucking you. <laughs> then you get the speech about, this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's but the no. thing with music man if you're overly critical of what you're doing nothing will ever happen you know and then there's the, which is why i'm not in music anymore and then the part of me that studied music regimentedly for you know a decade plus in high school and college to say and it's been in bands for a while hey you know what if you know you're going into a situation like the russell rehearse your shit yep, play exactly. nothing but those three songs yep. for the next two weeks yep Three to four times a week yeah. if you're that worried about, if, if you're that much of a per- perfectionist. Don't go in and, oh, yeah, we've played these three songs uh, no times in the last month. And then, exp- you know, and then be pissed that you didn't put in the best performance. No piece, no piece of unaltered live music is 100% perfect. Correct. None. And the imperfections sometimes are what gives it its charm. Mm-hmm. That's just something that's it's I, I've had to learn to deal with. Let's see a, now, car- a caring engineer will fucking like hear that, you know. He'll buff it a little bit, yeah. You know, he'll he'll, he'll know the way to. Okay, you got to rub the knob a little, you know. But I mean, yeah. once again, it's all it's. <laughs> if you're not comfortable with that take, Click don't that go. Mouse. Yeah, I'm cool with it to speed the thing along. The Fuck one it. time, I, the one time I've done, I've I've done a final take, and, and I was uh, the final take, and I was like. Not really comfortable. I, I want to take another pass at that solo. The cat's trying to come that in. Cat yeah. wants me, dude. The, the, dude, the dude was like, dude was like, me. man, look, I'm I'm already I'm already running two hours past what you paid for, and I'm not even going to charge you for it. I can fix it. 
and I'm like, <sighs> I'm not that guy that likes studio engineering, so I'm or studio uh, wizardry, wizardry. I'm like, but I can't afford to pay. He's like, I'm gonna have to charge you for another hour if you. I mean, dude, you're already at two hours, you know, past. And I'm like, all right, all right, fucking fix it. And he did. And he didn't charge me extra. And I hear it. Every, it's a fixed part, but I hear it every time. And everybody else I played it for is like, sounds fine to me. What, what part did he fix? Just the way shit is, man. This is, right. this is why we had the conversation about, look, I don't know if we should put this out. I don't want people hearing this shit. I, I need to have the ability to say, cut this shit out, cut this shit in. And then finally, we had the conversation the last time we all talked. And it was so... Is there anything cool? Yeah, everything's fucking cool. Because I finally got over myself and said, fuck it, I'm putting it out there. And if someone's got a problem with it, they can just fucking take a big bite well, of my fat you, Irish ass. I don't give don't, a shit. Don't put out stuff as a group that you don't uh, necessarily agree on. And Aaron and I, last band we were in, we had a demo that never saw the light of day because half of us were cool with it. And the other half of us are like, no, that sounds like shit. That's, that is not what we want to put out. Yeah. You know, I think that probably ultimately is kind of what's, you know, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah, that was for and it's, sure. If you don't want stuff out there with, if you're not, pr- if you're putting your stuff out there with your name on it and you're not proud of it as a whole, that's an issue. Have standards as a group. Right. But that's you what, know? that's just something that highlighted the fact that there were not everyone agreed on the direction the band should go in. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was a good thing. Yeah, but it's, it's just it all means you, if you don't want something, if you don't want something out there that's misrepresenting you, don't put it out. Well, that's how come, right at this point, anything I put out with you guys after we had that conversation on the podcast, uh, you know, fuck it, I'm putting it out there. Like, I, 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 man, I, the names being, being taken out, I don't even know if fucking we should do that. No last names are being used. I'm still Mm -hmm. taking, if you listen to the one I posted a couple days ago, I still managed to stay within the parameters that you guys wanted originally, and it still sounds fine. I'll tell you what, Rich, we'll give you one free pass. Per episode <laughs> you can call it okay this one this subject not going not hitting the air well here's the here's the thing i mean i i at, at this point i don't really care about my job I, I just don't i i i'm absolutely miserable with my fucking job and i'm about to have all my paper taken care of yeah but i can go find on your own terms job. don't let a podcast get you fired that's just stupid well but that should i understand time, if someone listens to it i didn't say it while i was on the clock you're going to fire me it's for that, something don't, I said off the clock. That don't and matter, I, and especially not matter. if you're putting it out there for anyone to listen to. It does <laughs> yeah, not it fucking matter. matter. It will not hold up in court. Yeah, yeah, it will it, not. It, at, any, at any point, have I mentioned where I worked for by name? No. There you go. I don't even think I've actually said what type of place I worked at for. At any point, do they have to give you a real reason for firing your ass? Actually, last week you did, <laughs> That's Rich. the question um, you should ask. We talked about the type of place you worked at last week when I mentioned how wonderful... I thought the oh page shit! Was, uh, yeah, Facebook was. Yeah, yeah, I I forgot about that Just one. Well, trust me, I used the dragnet rule. I take out names to protect the innocent. How, how's that for a memory, man? <laughs> and I take out anything identifying. That's well. one of the things. Like I don't listen here, but I do read. No, them. come on, Jay. Don't don't be that guy. <laughs> I I dude, I give you full credit. You fucking when when it, I was the first time you sat in with us, I was like sitting there and there's fucking Todd across the fucking and you looked over and you started busting my balls and I was like this motherfucker wants to give it he's gonna get it all right and we started busting each other's balls and then next thing I know next time I talked to Chris he's like there was like four conversations going on they were really interesting but they were going on at the same time and I couldn't really listen to (laughs) all the conversations ADD radio But yeah, was, that's the episode that never got aired. It was yeah. just, this is chaos. Well, that was, uh, yeah, Todd was jumping my shit for saying that I was a uh, libertarian or, you know, had more libertarian beliefs than most things, and he decided well, that, that was his... four-fifths of us were hammered. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But no, man, you fucking, you, you gave it to me that night. I was like, all right, this dude, all right, all right. Oh, dude, that's so, the thing. I'm free. He's one of us. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm just honest, blunt, and true with, you know, I try to be as true as possible with my opinions and the things I say, and I expect it in return, you know. Oh, to me, words are words. It's all about right, actions. Right, right exactly. Here's my Clement Heard. What the fuck about? are you playing? I think we're being played off. I think. Yeah, I know, right? Right, right. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jesus. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Thanks to my Jewish agent. Thank Thanks you, Jesus. 
jumping over the moon. <laughs> and there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And, <laughs> and a pair of mittens. You guys don't know Good Night Moon? And a little toy house. No, motherfucker. Of course I don't. I, 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 get the fuck out of here with that. I have kids and I don't know this fucking shit. <laughs> and a brush and a bowl full of mush. Shit's hilarious. Why don't you play Isn't It Go to Sleep, motherfucker, or something by yes. King of Objection? <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. go to fucking sleep or some shit like that. Yes. All All right, the Aaron. fuck to bed. We get that's, it. That's what it is. <sighs> All right. So we're, we're we are officially three hours fifty eight minutes and thirty six seconds in. Uh, it's hours, time for everyone hours. to go to fuck to sleep. Yeah, so I got to be up early. <laughs> okay, but real quick. Good night, <laughs> and the red balloon. Good night, bears. <laughs> Good night. Dude, I'm gonna commit fucking suicide right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And now. Samuel L. Jackson on Go the Fuck to Sleep. I was anxious to um, do the audio reading. Oh, this book Jesus fuck. My agent yeah. has twins. And Let's skip to the meat. Please go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear you'll go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, gentlemen. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss her ass. All right, so we have for, are we on for next Wednesday? Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. I believe so, yeah. Is everybody going to be in town next Wednesday? I will be, I for sure. I will be, yeah. As long as my I think, bosses don't kill me by then, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think okay, next week I, we'll have Mike on and we can talk some music. I, if it's oh, you're killing with me, Smalls, because I do think the con I was talking about going to is this weekend. Ooh. All right. I mean, we can put it all. We we can do the uh, first of April. Of course, yeah. everyone's going to think if no, we do we a furry episode on the yeah, first of April, we're furries. fucking with them. Well, I say, Rich, if you haven't caught it, uh, we tend to record many shows at a time. I yeah, mean, I, so I, I mean, know. I know, I know. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air, they soar and they sweep. <laughs> A hot crimson know where he's going with this. my heart, love, for real. Shut the fuck up and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone through every parent's mind. <laughs> All right, guys. That's Anyways. when you start calling your kids' names for real. This little bastard just won't go down. I, like, I, I wonder why I have these wrap-up conversations mm -hmm. with you guys, even though we can just, tomorrow, we're all in the same group on fucking Messenger, be like, uh, hey, so uh, blah, 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 but I don't know. It's, I'm old school. I feel like I have to wrap it up. So. Yep, well, consider it wrapped. <laughs> Again, kiss my motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Till next week. Yeah, till next week. <laughs> till next go week. to fuck to sleep. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Later, guys. Later. If you enjoy this show and want more people to know about it, head on over to iTunes, leave a comment, and rate it five stars. Make sure you like and share us on Facebook, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Just search for Christopher Media. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Most importantly, we would like to take the time to extend an extra special thanks to you. Christopher Media could not exist without your support. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net, and thank you you for listening Christopher Media let's make some noise bodega 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 alpha and omega <clears throat> Siamese sailors sell celery sandwiches so wing about a serving platter hey, hey Jamie yes uh, did uh, did you want to try reading that line on the script there oh yeah let's see uh, you could say big when you bundle your home and auto with progressive that one yes yeah no I'm just not warmed up yet shouldn't be long Detector test. Indecent Bundle your home and auto with Progressive today. The marmot mangled my mushu pork pancake. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. If you're looking for COVID-19 testing, look into Quest, the lab that's processed over 25 million tests and counting. You can get the same test hospitals use without a doctor visit. Simply order online, select from drive through or at-home options, and get results sent securely to your phone or computer. It's experience and accuracy you can trust from Quest the largest medical testing lab in the country. 
So order today at questcovid19.com.